It's white to play and win, but it might not be in the way that you think. White's pawns are going forward in this direction. See if you can pause and figure out how white can win. Well, if you had a chance to look at that, obviously we have two pawns against one. The problem is black's king is right here getting ready to start capturing them. So we need to push this pawn forward two spaces. This is the only way for white to win. If you only pushed it up one space, black would simply play the move h3, and now you can play g4, but you kind of wasted some time because you could have played g4 in one move, and that time gives black just enough time to capture the pawn, move the king to the side, get their own queen ready to go, and your king is too far. You can't win. Okay, we're going to come back to talking about this a little bit more in just a second, but you can see how basically pushing g3, you just waste a move. So the better option is g4. Now, of course, black can on passant, but that doesn't make sense because you just take it and now the king is always going to be one step behind the pawn and you just go and get a queen. Okay, pretty straightforward. So what does black do instead? Well, since they can't catch the pawn, they have to try to get their own queen over here. So king to g2. Of course, we're going to push our pawn, and black captures. And then we push our pawn, and black goes here, and then we push our pawn, and black goes king to h1. And now it's white to play. What move should white play? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, hopefully you didn't say get the queen, because that is the wrong move. If you get the queen now, we have a very similar situation. The pawn pushes, and this position is actually a well-known draw. And it's a draw because white's king is too far away. So basically what this looks like is, first of all, if you try to bring your king closer, it's a stalemate, okay? You can't do that because black has no moves, right? So you have to do some kind of a check. And the king moves and they're threatening to get a queen. So you have to do another check. They're threatening to get a queen. You have to do another check. And the best case scenario would be check, check, you're hoping that they go over here so you can take their pawn, but they just have to move in the corner. And again, you never have time to bring your king closer because it's always going to be a stalemate, right? If you go here, the game is a draw, okay? So you have to keep checking and nothing really happens, all right? That's the problem if we go all the way back here, if you simply get the queen. So what do you do instead? You take this opportunity to bring your king closer. Because black is eventually going to have to step over here, which is going to allow you to get the queen at that moment. And these crucial moves are, these two moves are very crucial leading up to that. So king to d6, black pushes the pawn, king to e5. What we did was move our king from here to here. And you might not think that that is significant, but it's very, very important. And watch what happens. Now black finally has to move over, threatening to get the queen. And now, if you would like to pause, what do you think the move is? That's correct. This was an easy one. Now you get the queen with check. Okay, great. And again, black is going to, you know, move and try to get a queen. And you might think that nothing has changed. But the fact that our king is now on e5 instead of c7 is very, very significant. And here is what you do. Queen to a2 check. King to g1. And what does white play to win the game? You had a chance to look at that. The move is king to f4. You essentially say, okay, I don't care if you get a queen. I'm going to bring my king closer and watch what happens. h1 queen, and now it's white to play and win. What move should you play as white? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, it's the move king to g3. And it's incredible that you can get your king so close to black's queen and yet black has no good checks. It's because your queen is perfectly positioned controlling these squares. If black tries to go here to put you in check, you just take it. And of course, if the queen goes here, you just take it. And there's no other checks with the queen and you're threatening checkmate. This is checkmate. And uh, there's also some checkmates over here and black has no way to stop all of them. They can move somewhere. I don't know, here, it doesn't really matter. You simply go here and you're getting a back rank checkmate. It's amazing. It's an amazing concept. And it has to do with the fact that your king was close enough to the pawn. Okay. So what I wanted to show you guys 
is if we go back to this position. So right here, if I were to move white's king over a couple squares, this is no longer a, a winning position for white. So actually what I'm gonna do here is go to set up position. I'm gonna move the king over two squares and I'm gonna load it. And again, it's white's turn and now it's a draw because you can't do the same idea of bringing the king in to deliver the checkmate. And so the best case you could do is just keep putting the king in check. See, now if you try to bring your king closer, it's just too far, right? This, this is not gonna lead to checkmate. Because now the black queen can start checking you and you can't do anything about it. So fascinating end game, and it has to do with how close your king is to the past pawn. Hope you guys can appreciate that one. I'll see you next time. As always, thanks for watching. Stay sharp, play smart, and take care.